This is the original case it comes in. I travel a lot, so I put it in this case. But essentially, this will tell you it goes, it's numbered from a one to a 10. 10 being the hardest strength possible, okay? 10's a diamond. One is a, basically, you know, foam, okay? It's extremely soft. So the way you do this is, it's, if you notice, you can, I'll pass one around. You can kind of feel, sorry. You can kind of feel how, uh, how hard it is and it's very pointy. So when you test this, it's very important to hold it like a pencil or a pen, okay? Like you're actually writing. And you simply will take it, now in my experience, I've done this a lot and I plus I already know what this floor is. I'm gonna start with a five, okay? And, it, and every side is numbered. You have a five, a four, a six, seven, eight, you know, all the numbers. So I'm gonna take it and I'm going to run my, run my pen across it. And if you look closely here, you can actually see the scratch that I've created in the concrete, okay? So that tells me that this floor is at a five. Now you can't just scratch it one time. You wanna scratch multiple scratches right next to it to see where that scratch stops. So that will tell you where we're at. So now I'm gonna take a six, I'm gonna scratch it to the side of it. We put another scratch in. Okay, so now we're gonna take a four below the five. And we're gonna scratch that, okay? So now I can understand that this floor is right at around a 4.5. 4.5 on a Mohs reading, what does that tell me? That tells me that this concrete surface is at a medium strength, okay? So we have soft, medium, and hard. We achieved a 4.5 on the Mohs hardness test simply by taking our number five, tester pencil, applying it to the concrete. This did scratch the concrete. We then moved down to the number four pencil. The number four pencil lightly scratched the concrete. This approved for us to know that the concrete was a 4.5 on the most hardness tester.